Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany and I'm a third year vet student studying in the University of Edinburgh. Today, I'm going to show you guys my favorite aspect of vet school, which is the hands-on experience that we get here. In this vlog, I'm going to show you guys clips of the practical classes that we had in this semester and hopefully give you an idea of what they're like. And to me, the practical aspect of this course really helps my learning because it's very hard to learn skills such as um, taking blood samples from a lecture. And back in first year, while we were learning about the animal's anatomy, it's really hard for me to imagine 3D structures from lectures and notes. And it was the dissections during the course back then that helped me understand the structures, the muscles, and the blood vessels, etc. Obviously, things are a bit different during COVID times, and we no longer go back to vet school every day. Instead, we get a practical day each week for us to build the vital skills of being a vet. So, let me show you guys what we did during practical days. First of all is our small animal clinical skills class. In this class, we have different stations and each one of them have equipment or mannequins for us to practice the skills. So this is me, practicing how to take blood from the jugular vein, which is a big vein in the neck. After wiping the area with some alcohol, um, we are ready to take the blood from the mannequin. I'm placing a thumb on the vein so that the blood in the vein will be temporarily stopped, and this allows me to draw blood more easily. So here I am, inserting the needle in and drawing the blood. Besides drawing blood from the neck vein, the cephalic vein, which is on the front leg of the dog, is a common site for us to take blood samples. And this is me practicing how to take blood from the cephalic vein. Besides drawing blood, we also get to practice how to put an intravenous cannula into an animal. This is a crucial skill to develop as vets have to put IV cannula every day in practice so that fluids and drugs can be given to the animal quickly. We also practice making blood smears, which is an important skill as examining blood smears give us a lot of clues on what's happening to the blood cells of the animal. There is also an anesthesia machine in the lab for us to practice. As anesthesia is very important for procedures like surgery, we did spend some time on learning about the machine. We also looked at some x-rays and tried to make diagnosis with them. Extramural studies EMS, allows us to gain practical experience in different aspects of the veterinary industry. To prepare us for that, the vet school has organized these EMS classes for us to practice different husbandry and clinical skills that are useful in placements. First of all, we get to practice our blood taking skills on a cattle tail model. Then we get to practice how to use a calving jack, which is a tool that is used to assist calving. We first have to hook the ropes onto the calf's head, then legs, then use the calving jack to pull the calf out. As food lameness is both a welfare and a productivity issue in the cattle industry, learning about cattle hoof care is very important for us. Horses spend a significant amount of time in their lives on their feet. Moreover, some horses are eventers and their feet have to bear an even bigger amount of weight. This is why maintaining equine hoof health is so important. Farriers put shoes on horses to protect the legs and the hoof of these horses. And in this farrier practical, we learned about different types of shoes and practiced how to take the horseshoes off on the models. So this is basically what we've done during practical classes. And I had so much fun and had learned a lot from these sections. But this is just a glimpse of what it's like to be a vet student here in Edinburgh. Edinburgh is a lovely city and there is so much to explore here in this beautiful place.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully this has showed you guys how it's like to be a vet student here in the University of Edinburgh. Thank you!